Hi, and welcome to our channel, and welcome back to my kitchen. We're gonna have another one of those meals that's easy, inexpensive, and tastes good. We're gonna have hamburger baked beans. Completely done and on the table. Hour and 15 minutes, and an hour of that is in the oven. What makes this meal so thrifty is it's minimal, minimal ingredients. I mean, we're talking one pound of hamburger, two little slices of bacon, two cans of pork and beans, some ketchup, some molasses, an onion. I mean, it is just pantry staples ready to go. And I guess we can go through that again so you can see what I'm talking about. I mean, one pound of hamburger, two little slices of bacon, some Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of mustard powder, some salt, a half a cup of molasses, a half a cup of ketchup, a medium onion, and two cans of pork and beans. And I know that sounds too good to be true, but it really is good. My kids and my grandkids love this dish. And I don't have a problem making it for them because it's like quick, easy, and done. First thing we're gonna do is start the stove. I'm gonna get a medium heat. Set that pan on there. Let's take that two pieces of bacon and just snip it into little pieces. Because you know you can't have baked beans without bacon. That's just not possible. But Really, if you're running low on bacon and you don't have any and you got a little bacon grease, that'll work too. You're just wanting that flavor. But I had the bacon, so we're going to render that just a minute. While that bacon's rendering, we're going to cut that medium onion. There we go. By the time I get this onion cut, that bacon should be rendered enough for me to drop that onion in there. Okay, and I am going to chop these kind of fine. I had one kid, or well, actually two. I had two kids. If they saw the onion, then it just wasn't edible. They couldn't do it. But, cut it up little enough, and they couldn't see it. They never knew it was there. All right, see what I mean? By the time I got done cutting that onion, actually, uh, my medium was still a little too high because it shouldn't have done it quite that much, but that's okay. Okay, now you don't want to brown the onions. You just want to get them, I guess the right word is translucent. You just want them barely, barely done, not brown. That's going to take, what, three to five minutes? And then we'll add the hamburger. Okay, they're the right color now. They're kind of translucent. Everything's ready. Let's get us a pound of hamburger in there. Now I took this hamburger out. It's probably still, nah, it's not. I was gonna say it's still frozen in the middle, but it's not. That'll just make it go even quicker. I've got my hamburger all nice and chopped and then we're gonna let it get just done I am gonna let it get done and then we'll add more ingredients it's all about layering
Okay, now at this point, if you want to, if you feel it's necessary, you can drain it. I'm not gonna drain it. To me, that's a waste of bacon grease and we like it kinda greasy, so we leave it. But if, if, if you have sensibilities towards that, go ahead and drain it. And now we're gonna start adding the rest of the ingredients. So I got a half a cup of ketchup, Bangity bang bang. I got half a cup of molasses. Which half of it will stay in there if I don't get that out. Okay. Okay. One tablespoon of Worcestershire, and I'm not going to grab out a tablespoon. I'm just going to kind of go with it. There we go. One tablespoon. Half a teaspoon of salt, which to me is kind of just like that. And I am almost out of mustard. I need a half a teaspoon of mustard. And that's probably all I got left. So in it goes. and two cans of undrained pork and beans. In they go. You'll need a two quart casserole I probably could have used a bigger frying pan, but I was thinking, oh, it's just Randy and I, and I'm only using two cans of pork and beans. Okay, we're gonna try, <laughs> we're gonna try to not make a mess and pick this pan up and get it into that casserole dish. Now, actually, if I had a real oven, not a toaster oven, I would have used the Dutch oven to do this, and then I would have just slid the Dutch oven into the oven, and I would have only had a one-pot meal. Now, all we have to do is put that casserole dish in a 350-degree oven for, I would say, you know, no more than 45 minutes. It really shouldn't take that long. Everything's already cooked in there. You just want those flavors to melt. And the quicker you get dinner on the table, the better they'll like it. 45 minutes are up. Let's get that out. Nice, pretty baked beans. Taste test time. Here we go. Taste test time. Taste test time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I know that this is hot. Because <laughs> he's already been eaten. <laughs> oh yeah, that's real good. It's very good, very delicious. Hamburger, baked beans, how can you go wrong, right? Yeah. Got some onions, ain't nothing wrong with it. Absolutely not. It tastes like... Uh, baked beans. Baked beans. <laughs> really good baked beans, that's what I was trying to get at. Uh, really yeah. good baked beans yeah. with some hamburger and onions. Yeah, they are, yeah. they really are. I I'm not kidding, my kids absolutely had no problem whooping that. And as long as I made the onion small enough, they'd all eat it. <laughs> yeah, but I think what did the trick is the molasses and mm -hmm. all that other stuff, the ketchup and Worcestershire sauce, right? Was mm -hmm. there ketchup? Yeah, there yeah, was, was ketchup. ketchup. Yeah. yeah, that made the difference. 
So, uh, anyway, I guess you'd say that's from scratch, isn't it? It's scratch. It's scratch enough. And I like to have mine with cornbread. So, today I'm having a corn muffin. Randy said he didn't want his muffin. No, he I want that wanted, squash. He just wanted the fried zucchini and uh, horseradish sauce. Yep. That's all I want. That's I'm it. I'm good to go. All right. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm. Bye.